Okay, we're going to fit the uh, the new circuit board to the movement in this video. Here we go. It's going to mount on these two threaded holes. The way I find easiest to do it is to drop the screws into the holes in the transistors. Then support it like this. Put my fingers around there, I'm supporting the transistors. Then with the screwdriver, let's get them started. Then with the biggest screwdriver, take them down. Don't have to be very tight. Okay, that's the two screws in. Then we've got some connections to solder. Now I've already trimmed these to length and tinned the ends, so I'm just going to solder those on. Thin red wire to where the red wire came from. You might have to swap these later, so leave them long enough. Black wire to where the black wire came from. Now the thicker of the red wires I've trimmed to go down to where this power input terminal was. Get him on there. Okay. Now there's one more connection. And I like to use uh, this white wire with the socket on. This is the signal input wire. And we drop him on the circuit board. Oops. Like that. And it's a neat way of getting, getting it. It still looks reasonably original. Put him in there. And it goes to this corner, which is where the signal needs to come into the circuit board. There we go, and that's the connection soldered. In the next video, we'll look at uh, connecting up the power and calibrating.